Hey everybody, we want to welcome you guys back to Body Talk with Mr. Lee Haney. Mr. Lee has broken down to us about nutrition, all of the things you need, about how it has to start early as a child and go the whole duration of your life. Put good things in that's going to come out, those right. in and out foods. And so we want to take this time, Mr. Lee Haney, to answer, you know, some of our viewers and listeners' question. And we had a wonderful question from one of our viewers, Ernest. And Ernest is basically saying he is, you know, a 60-year-old man. He's 5'7", 240 pounds. Um, praise God. He has, um, he is a cancer survivor. And um, he also has some um, arthritis issues. He wants to know how can he get into the gym and redo himself? From a legend, from a health guru, expert like yourself, <laughs> what could you tell Ernest to be able to get things up and going? Well, number one, Ernest, we want to ease our way into it. You know, a lot of time when us guys think about the gym, we want to go in and try to lift the whole gym. Okay. Well, you, you don't want to go about it that way. That's you true. You need to engine yourself. And so the number one thing I would advise, let's get your system clicking right first. So I advise doing a systemic cleansing and detox program. Order my seven-day detox through LeeHaney.com. That'll help jumpstart your metabolism. That'll help get rid of some waste and bloat in your system. That'll give you some energy to feel like training. Yes. So that's number one. Yes. Then I advise eased into a training program. Let's say, for instance, I would advise, you know, let's, let's jump into the challenge. When you look at the gentleman, when you look at the befores and afters, when you go to LeeHaney.com at the uh, last year's uh, um, uh, uh, transformation challenge, the winner dropped, well, the year before last, the winner dropped 71 pounds. Whoa. 71 pounds. He got his life back together, got wow. off medication, got his energy level back. This brother looks so good now. And last year, a winner, too, when you see the befores and afters, male and female, it's mind-blowing as to what could be accomplished just by using discipline and being right there in the comfort of your home. Yeah. Because this functional training DVD, it gives you step-by-step -step things you can do right there. It's not overbearing. Your tongue is not hanging out the side right. of your mouth. <laughs> You're not passing out. You know, so none of those crazy stuff is happening. You know, uh, you can start walking, for instance. Walking is a great way to get started. Just get some activity in. So all of that can make a huge difference. And let's make sure, too, that you reprogram yourself for good nutrition. Junk in the house, throw it out. Right. You know, get rid of those temptations so that it's not there. Let's use the fruits. Let's use vegetables. Absolutely. Let's learn to do the right things to, to, to sort of ignite a new lifestyle effort. And that would make all the difference in the world. You can do it. No doubt about it. Find your why. And your why should be, guess what? I want to live the next 30, 40 right. years better than my first half. I know, listen, I'm 57, and, you know, the good Lord didn't call Abraham that he was 76. So I got a way to go. <laughs> you got a way to go. You're, you're just 60. You're a baby, you know, so we're just getting started, man. So you take good care of yourself. Uh, uh, get on the, the, the wagon to help and do the right things. Hey, go to my website. Go to the community. Yes. Sign up at the community. Don't cost anything, and we'll get you started. And LeeHaney.com. LeeHaney.com. For the transformation. That's right. Awesome. We got another great question from Mr. Nitro Fred. Thank Nitro you, Nitro. Fred. He says, what do you think about the bodybuilders of today versus the ones that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with when you started <laughs> in the fitness industry? That's a good question. It is a good Get question. Get to the nitty-gritty. <laughs> you know what? Uh, bodybuilding now is trying to find its way back. Okay. Because it had totally got out of control. It did a little you know, bit. You're you know, right. Because there was a certain criteria that was established during my day. You know, I competed with a 30, 32 inch waist. Hmm. So you had to look athletic. Wait a you minute. Had to do y'all understand what he just said? Yeah. He they said a 32 inch waist. waist. Okay, I'm sorry, continue. Yeah. I just had to show them how big that right. is. Please continue. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so that was a criteria though. Everything was about the waist and a shoulder taper, yes. a balance, symmetry. You know, we had what is called a vacuum, where we can do a double bicep the, the, and, the, you know, a little hole sucked yep. in yeah. the You know, but that sort of became a thing of the past. Right. right. But the public has, has, you know, voiced their opinion about that. Mm -hmm. And so the powers that be in the sport of bodybuilding is heard that cry. So recently, what has been implemented is a classic 
physique division. Yes. And now classic bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. now making its way back to put bodybuilding back to what it used to be. Absolutely. So because people love the fact that you look athletic and at the same time you look human. Right. Not looking like a cartoon. Right. Yes. That's not sellable. It's not promotable. And it really hurt the sport to mm -hmm. a great degree. Okay. It, it's matter of fact, it killed female bodybuilding. Period. There's right. no longer Miss Olympia right. Right. bodybuilding division. That's no true. More because mm -hmm. of that, that is you only true. have the figure, the physique, right. the bikini, those different divisions. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Something that's more grass. That people feel like right. they can grass that, that they can they do. Like it. it looks good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. right. Man, this has been amazing. Gee, you got any more questions? I do. I, I know do. she do. She your fan. I do. She I your do. fan. <laughs> you know, um, and, and I realize this is, you know, we are a fitness platform here, but I want to know a little bit more some personal things. You know, you're Ooh, your she husband, personal. your father, <laughs> your coach, your mentor, and I have a I have sons. I have two yes. sons. Oh. I have um an older son who's um what is he, 28, I think? <laughs> I forget. Wow. And I, I forget. <laughs> um, but I have a 14-year-old mm -hmm. son, and um, I want to um, ask a few questions or talk to you about your mentorship right. programs. Mm -hmm. Oh, and, wow, uh, yes. Because, and that's a little, because that's the mother in me. Yes. Um, so can you talk to us a little bit about your mentorship programs? Yeah, mentoring have? is extremely important. Love that. My degree is in, uh, I don't like to say juvenile corrections mm -hmm. but that's what i have my degree in okay i like to call it youth counseling yes because okay. i've never worked in the field but with my mentoring program that's what i've done all of my life okay. you know, helping young men because i i'm a believer that every young man needs the hand of a man in his life a Absolutely. Good godly that's man important. Yeah. that can Keep show him good godly how man. to Thank treat you. a lady See? how to love mm -hmm. his wife how to be a gatekeeper of his community. Mm -hmm. All of those things are important and, and, and authentic manhood and the principles of it has to be taught at an early age. I mean, mm -hmm. me and my friend Moses, as we were on the way down here, we were talking about that, mm -hmm. how you have to impact the lives of young boys real early. Mm -hmm. yes. it's, it's as though yeah. young ladies come to the world knowing what they're supposed to do. Yeah. I mean, they have baby dolls when they, my, my little right. twin niece, she, she's two. She's right. got a baby doll. Exactly. You know, yeah. so a young man needs to be taught those principles. Absolutely. So we love that. And I love the fact there's a lot of great brothers out there that are stepping up to the plate and doing those works. I mean, and being a part of the life of a young man. Mm -hmm. Even even though it's not his son, mm -hmm. they are, they're all our sons. Right. Because we're, right. we're, so we're, we're a community. We're a community. We're supposed to raise our village. children. I, yes. I, I, saw, I was looking on Facebook the other day. I saw this young lady took her son in to get his hair cut. And this little cat pitched the fit. Mm -hmm. He jumped out of the chair. He didn't want to. Man, them brothers gathered around him and, and tied his little butt down. Yes. When they finished with him, he had him a haircut, right. and he was listening to what his mama had to right. say. Oh, and absolutely. I was so yes. proud of that. Those brothers in that barbershop said, yes. okay, we're going to take care of this. Yes. Um, at eight, Is there like an age requirement, an age limit when you accept young men into this Well, program? we generally go between five. Wow. Oh, as young as five. 16, 17. That's amazing. Uh, okay. Matter of fact, we do it out of a, a, a church called the Rock Church in okay. Forest Park, Georgia. Awesome brother of mine. We've been together close to 20 years now, Pastor Michael Klinscale. Mm -hmm. And his heart is as big as the world. Wow. And nice. so we have the program set up there. We have a full basketball court for the young man. We have a weight room set up for him. Nice. We're now building out a youth center. So for, for those wanting to be involved in the program, I'll make a donation because we yes. can use all the donations right. we can get. They can go to uh, HaneyHarvestHouse.com. HaneyHarvestHouse.com, everyone. And make a donation there, and that money will go towards building out a new youth center that we're working on right now. Right. So, and then when we had the Lee Haney's Physique and Fitness Games, mm -hmm. well, that was uh, a part of one of our fundraisers. Okay. okay. We're continuing to work there. Okay. You know, to work for the Harvest House. Yeah. Now, I'm mentoring oh, nice. program for boys. Well, you know what, Mr. Haney, I'm going to, I live in the Vinings area, but I'm going to finish, figure out how I can get to far, the Forest Park area. <laughs> right. But um, in the meantime, I'm sorry. They, they know I have lips, personal moments. Um, guys, we need to take a break. And um, we'll be back in a few minutes um, um, here at Body Talk. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get my son. Y'all stay tuned. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Sorry. <laughs>